In the shadow of Pickerington High School North, a town hall meeting is held to discuss the future of the district. Where are we going to make reductions? A future some say hinges on a 5.5 mil levy up for a vote on Tuesday. If this levy does not pass, the quality of education in Pickerington will be jeopardized. Amanda Tonjes is the chair of the pro-levy Vote for Pick Kids committee and says after last year's levy defeat, there's nothing left to be cut. The district has made a total of $20 million in cuts over the last five years, and that's, that's devastating to a $100 million budget. Tracy Freeman has three children in the district and was one of dozens who attended the meeting. It is getting tight with the funding. I think our, our school district has demonstrated that they're willing to do some things to be creative, but it's a concern for all of us. Not for people like John Giglio, president of the Pickerington Patriots, a local Tea Party group. Do you think uh, that the, the, the pro-levy people are, are voting yes and helping the unemployed? The people who have been foreclosed on, um, the fixed income people, do they have them in mind? He says all of the cuts that have been and are proposed to be made are for things that are not necessary. Money and quality education are not related. This is a revenue problem. There's no other cut to make. We need more revenue.